Psalms 119, verse 45. Again, if your Psalms has characters and weird letters, those are the Hebrew alphabet. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and R alphabet. And this one is cough. Cough. We already had a cough. Oh, what's cough? Uh, verse 81, that's cough. This is cough with a K. I cried with my whole heart. You gotta give it God all. I cried with my whole heart, hear me. And there are times in the Christian walk, you know what? I know this personally. You don't think God's listening. Now maybe, you know, maybe a year, two years after I got saved, someone said, well, you know, God's not going to listen to you. I wouldn't believe it. But I'm telling you, that I've got a prayer life, and I know God's listening. The problem is, is God answering. And we want an instant yes. We don't want no. And we don't want wait. Oh, Lord. Crying out to you, Lord. Hear me. I will keep thy statutes. And again, the psalmist is in the Old Testament, the law. Statutes is a law term. And he's telling God, he said, God, hear me. But still, Lord, I'm going to keep your law. Lord God, I got troubles, I got problems. Well, I'm still going to read the word. I'm still going to study. I'm still going to keep the faith. I'm not going to quit. I cried unto thee, same atmosphere, verse 45. I cried unto thee, save me. I'm in trouble. That's what you say when save me. Peter's out in the water. He's walking on the water. The storm comes. And he starts sinking. He says, Lord, save me. Desperate. And I shall keep thy testimony. Again, the written word of what God has done. And the psalmist is, is, hey, 146 verses. And you know what? Here is, and I'm going to keep the word. I've got, I'm going to keep the word. I'm going to, I'm going to not forget the word. I've got troubles, I delight in the word. Ah, uh, the word. The word, the word, the word, the word. I prevented the dawning of the morning. Now, that does not mean he stopped morning from coming. He's all night in prayer. He spent the whole night praying. Something is troubling the psalmist. And it is his experience. I hope in thy word. What's the hope? For him the law. I'm in trouble, save me. I'm spending all night in prayer. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. What are you going to do? I'm going to pick up the word and read it. My eyes prevent the night watching. That I might meditate in thy word. He's all night thinking about the word. He's on his post at night. Maybe military. But night watches in the middle of the night. And my thought goes to the word of God. 
Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness. God, you're not listening. And God, your loving kindness. O oh Lord, quicken me, make me alive, give me life according to thy judgment. So when you read the judgment, they give you life. When God chastises his people, when God brings evil upon the wicked, in some cases, it has brought the people back to God. And that's the story of judging. They repented and God sent a judge to deliver. Nebuchadnezzar is out there in the field and he's almost, if not an animal. And he's like, you know what? There's no other God but the God of Daniel and no other God but the God of creation. And he got right. Name it. Realize there's only one God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he had leprosy. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. What causes mischief? They was not doing what the law told them to do. They're out of the law. They're out of the word. That's why they're out. Because they're not in the word. You gotta be in the word. Thou, God, art near, O Lord. I cried unto the Lord, Lord, help me. Lord, save me. Lord, I'm talking to you. Lord. And thou art near, O Lord. And he's not saying what, he, what the statement is. He's not saying, God, you're deaf. You just choose not to answer. But there you are. Lord, I tell you to hear me. You've heard me. And all thy commandments are true. The whole word of God is true. Concerning thy testimonies, again, what God has done. I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. The testimonies of going all the way back to the creation days. Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. Noah, Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, Egypt, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, do it, everything that God has done. Reach, reach. Consider my affliction and deliver me. I'm in trouble. I got problems. And people are causing it. I'm glad he couldn't hear the televangelists because there was no television back then. For I do not. <coughs> excuse me. I do not forget thy law. What's he doing? Scripture mem memorization. And he don't have a chapter in, in verse number. Much harder. Plead my cause and deliver me. Well, Jesus hasn't been born yet. But for the Christian, Jesus makes intercession to God for us. And 1 John chapter 2 says that Jesus is the advocate. Now the writer of the psalm before Jesus is born, crying out to God, Jehovah.
for I do not forget thy law. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, quicken me, make me alive. According to thy word. You want life? Where are you going to find life? In the word of God. And it's in the word of the God of, of the psalmist, which he's got the law and some of the prophets. You can find life in the Old Testament as Paul, I mean, I mean, it, it, what do you think Paul went in the synagogue? Okay, now open up the first, oh, wait a minute, hold on, let me write first, first be right back, I gotta write first, first. All right, guys, now open your Bibles to Rome. Uh, uh, wait a minute, hold on. I'll be back in about 12 days. I got to write Rome. No. When Paul dealt with the Jews in, in, in the synagogue, when Jesus dealt with the people in the synagogue, what did they use? They used the Old Testament. And there's one point in the Old Testament that they hand Jesus the, uh, uh, a scribe, I, I mean, the uh, scroll. Of Isaiah, he opens it up and reads Isaiah and says, Isaiah is being fulfilled in, in front of your eyes. And I gotta say it, I need to behave myself, but I gotta say it. For those people who say, they, oh, he looked forward to the cross, Christ Jesus opened up Isaiah, read the passage, and said, That's right now, that's being fulfilled. And they didn't see nothing. Salvation is far from the wicked. Is that true for the church age? No. The more a man gets wicketer, if that's a word, or becomes more wicked in the Old Testament, the further his sin. And the more the wickedness he does, the more you may not be able to bring an offering. If you committed murder, adultery, if you disobeyed your parents, there were other laws and commandments besides adultery and murder. God says, I'm trying to think, right? he says, cut them off. And when God says cut them off, when God says take them out and stone them, when God says take them out and burn them like a witch, that's a wickedness. You know what? You had no salvation. Now today for the church age. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Who? Any wicked person. What sins? Any and all sins. As few as few or as many as many all can come to Jesus and be saved. And how, cro clo uh, how close is the cross for salvation at the mouth of the preacher that brings the gospel and preaches the gospel and that into your ears and your heart you say I want to receive it that's close God today during the church age will not turn his back He's long suffering, he's not willing that any should perish. Any vile sinner, any, if I can say it, clean sinner, as, as little as sins, as much as sin, any sinner that calls upon Jesus Christ for salvation can and will be saved. For they seek not thy statutes, that's the law. So they're getting worse and worse and worse in the law. You've broken one commandment, you've broken two commandments, the three commandments, the four commandments, and you don't come once of the three times in the year, then you don't come twice of the three times in the year, and then you don't do what you're supposed to do on the Passover, and then you don't. Uh, most cases, you were just out of luck. And then com complete, commit a sin in the Old Testament that was worthy to be capital punishment, worthy to be cut off from his people, and you're in trouble. I'm glad I'm under grace. 
Great are thy tender mercies. God's pardon. O oh Lord, quicken, make me alive, me according to thy judgments. If there's the judgment. They, they bring life. Well, what's one of the judgments that brought life? Put the blood on the doorpost. And tonight, when Apollyon, the destroyer, comes through, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. That was a judgment that came upon e e Egypt. And that if the Jew obeyed God, he was given life. And those that did not obey God, death. Many are my persecutors and my enemies. All the way back to Abel. Any man or woman who wants to live for God and do right is going to have persecution and enemies. That's a biblical fact. And I have learned again that Paul wrote to a church, have I become your enemy because I told you the truth? And I stand up with the gospel of Jesus Christ and people are trying to knock you down. I'm trying to live by my convictions and the convictions are being challenged by the church. Yet do I not decline from thy testimony. Persecution in enemies is not going to tear me away from the word. It's only going to make it stronger. I'm being persecuted, okay? How did God treat Abel. I'm being persecuted. How did God treat Noah? I'm being persecuted. How did God treat Hannah? I'm being persecuted. How did God treat Paul? I beheld the transgressors and was grieved. Because they kept not the word. <coughs> me. And you have come to a great growth in your Christian walk when you got saved or lost people. And you look at them and they're doing wrong, saved or lost, according to the word. And they will not, they will not get right. Consider how I love thy precepts, the word. Quicken me again, make me alive. O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. <coughs> There's that loving kindness again. The loving kindness of God is he'll, he'll make you alive again. Thy word is true. Sanctify unto thy to the truth. Thy word is true. Thy word is true from the beginning. In the beginning God created heaven and earth. And earth was out form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the earth. And the Lord and, and God moved upon the waters. And he said let there be light. When God said, that's from the beginning. So he's saying, when God said, let there be light, and God said, let there be, and God said, let there be, the writer of the psalm is saying, I believe in creationism. You can throw evolution out the window. Every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Well, what righteous judgment endureth forever? Hell. 
You say that's righteous? When God warns the people not to go, but what's a righteous judgment that endures forever? How about God correcting a Christian? He gets right and he earns gold, he earns silver, he earns precious stone, he earns a crown or two, and he earns inheritance. Because God chastened him. Those rewards are eternal. That's where a judgment of God worked out good. 